Hi everyone. Right, I'm. Uh, I've got to make a flower, and I just thought, you know what? Uh, I might as well do it online. Um, I generally like to show the flowers I make, um, but there are dozens and dozens for any newbies that watch. We have four thousand plus videos, and uh, over two, three, four hundred on particular flowers. Um, so. I'm just showing you how I'm going to make this particular flower. Now, do you remember yesterday, I, uh, was it the day before when I was showing you on the bottles? Um, this is what you cut from uh, blinds. You know the blinds, when you buy new blinds, you've got to put the length and everything and you cut the excess off. So I'm just using those, cut some circles out for the back of the flower. Uh, now I've got this doily and I actually like the outer rim of it. But I'm going to make this into my flower. So what you do is, I'm just going to snip it around the edge and that doily bit there can be used for something else. So we just trim this around. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing. I know people like to see um, how something's done. And like I say, we have a lot of videos out showing you lots of different projects, techniques, painting, flower making, altered art, steampunk, vintage, shabby chic. It's all on this channel if anybody wants to take a look. So I've got that now and I'm going to make that fit that. Um, and in order to do that, I then need a needle and thread. So I've got a needle and thread here, um, which I'm just going to. Now, I use long needles and I use them different length needles because of my hands. And a lot of people say, um, where can I get the needles from? We do sell them. But unfortunately, right now I'm waiting for my new lot to come in. So they will be here soon. And uh, same as the glue guns, again, we've sold out of the glue guns. Oh, I buy dozens and dozens, but they just sell out so fast with the fine nozzle tip. You've got to grab them while they're there. I've just added a kit on as well. Um, an embellishment kit. If you want to run along, it started to sell out. So uh, there was only six. Now, all I'm going to do is just to pop in... Um, and catch this like that just going to do that a couple of stitches in here oops a daisy and I'll do one more and then catch that just to make sure that's on tight enough and then basically I'm not even going to do a running stitch I'm just going to take each loop see so each whole section and just go in and out of each one and bring the flower together and you'll see how it'll end up because i need a vintage flower um for a project Like that. See how it brings that in? And then we're just going to lay this out. And that's brought that flower together how I want it. And then I'm just going to stitch that back there. Catch that again if I can. Like that. Just do that once more. And that will do me. That's all I need to do. So that's give me a nice flounce, as I call it. 
which is what exactly what it is supposed to be called in my flower and as long as I fit that on that's going to look fantastic so I just need to glue this like so like that sorry I just burnt myself look don't do that ladies and gents it's not good <laughs> just move my uh, needle again so that's just given me what I need for my flower um, I then have some you know bits and pieces that these were kindly uh, sent to me or made for me by somebody else but that's going to hide the flower underneath which I don't want to do I could put something like that on not quite sure um let me just have a look I do have those maybe in the middle I'm going to go and add a different doily I think I'm going to do it a couple of colours it doesn't matter as long as it's a vintage one I don't know if anybody heard that rain this morning, but it did have pelt down. <laughs> right, so I'm going to put that in there. I may choose one of these, not sure. I like the shabby look of this. That's fine. I'll do that in the middle, which hides quite a bit of the white, which is fine. Um, and then I'm going to pop one of those on, and that's made a beautiful, beautiful flower. And as quick as that, doesn't take a lot. And that's made me a gorgeous, shabby flower. Now, I can enhance that a little bit further if I want to, uh, but I'm not going to because I could put um, feathers on it and, and whatever. I like that like that. So I'm going to keep that one. Just so, sorry if you didn't see that one properly. Very quick and easy, wasn't it? Could put a stick pin on it or anything like that. Now, I've also got um, another doily here, but I'm not going to get the full width of what I want out of that one. So I'm just going to get another one, I think. Or well, shall we do that one? No. I think I might want to use that. So I'm just going to get another... I've got the base. Let me just see. I do have some doilies that I can use. Um, oh, I've got this. Yes, I might do this one absolutely love this stuff uh, it's elasticated so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop this onto there gives me my base make sure this is all stretched out love these I don't know where the uh, fabric was you know the st string was from um, and then I'm going to do this one I think so let me just it is elasticated and it needs just pulling about to give it a I mean it's a bit tatty really but that's the best thing about it so I think I'll just use that much that should be enough and the same thing again is take your needle and thread um let me just cut that off because I got a bit of glue on that There we go. Now, the silver jewellery will be in shortly. It is 925 silver jewellery. And I have to show you, um, I bought myself this one. 
I hope you can see that. It is beautiful. This is a new ring. I got this one when I came back from holiday. Um, and I got that one as well. They are stunning and it's aquamarine. Um, but uh, the jewellery is due in. I do have some in. Uh, but I'm waiting till it's all in together. And again, that one's the Mystic Topaz. Just stunning. Vintage looking jewellery. I love it. It's 925 silver with genuine gemstones. And they are gorgeous. So they're due in shortly. And we're going to be having a sale. And it will be first come, first serve. You'll have to nab it while you can. Because it goes pretty quick. But on saying that, to be honest, I'm, with all the hassle that's been going off, I may just put it straight onto the shop. Uh, because it's all sized up and everything, so... Right, let me just... Give that another twist. Right, I'm just making sure there's uh, a car outside us thinking Ray was coming home. Right, now just attach these two together. You know, it's um, so you get a really good flounce on them. Unless you're just a crochet trim. We do have it in the store. I put it back on sale yesterday. Okay. And I like that shabby look. Lots of flounce in that. So what I'm going to do is just attach it using... That. Like that. Right in the middle if I can. Oh, that, that's gorgeous. Look at that. And then I've got this little doily bit, which has been used on something else, and I've taken it off. But, you know, don't worry about it. I don't fuss at all. I often take things apart and reuse them. And I just think it needs one of these. Like that. Okay, lovely. Look at that. So there's two very, very quick flowers. Um, started off as doilies, but they look gorgeous and can go on any project. You know, um, you've all your tidbits of uh, fabrics and materials you can do exactly the same with. Take a piece of material, cut a strip, do a running stitch, gather it up, join it together and hey ho, you can make a couple of flowers. Um, it doesn't have to be doilies, it doesn't have to be lace, it doesn't have to be, you know, just, or just lace. It can be anything you want it to be and you can use anything to make a flower. So I hope that helps. Um, but thanks for watching, take care and I'll speak to you all soon. Bye bye for now.